the genome of a very hungry and gluttonous caterpillar known as the tobacco horn worm has been successfully sequenced by a team of international scientists. The Kansas State University-led research team has made the details of their genome sequence study available to the public in the hopes of opening up new research. This project represents years of collaborative research across the world, says Professor Michael Knost, a biochemistry expert from Kansas State and lead author of the genome study. The tobacco hornworm earned the moniker gluttonous caterpillar because it eats so much before growing into the Carolina sphinx moth. The name manduca means glutton in Latin. This hungry caterpillar, which is often found in the North, South, and Central America, is considered a pest to gardeners. The insect chows on the leaves of tomato plants, and also feasts on eggplants, potato and pepper plants, scientists said. Professor Knost has been studying the tobacco horn worm for decades. He and study co-author Gary Bleesward of Cornell University decided to start the collaborative research to sequence the tobacco horn worm's genome about seven years ago. The new research looks into the proteins in the caterpillar's blood and how these insects protect themselves against infections. Knost and his team purified the DNA of the caterpillar and sent samples to the Baylor College of Medicine Human Genome Sequencing Center for the Genome Sequencing. According to Knost, some of the same kind of proteins are present in both caterpillar and human blood. What's more, these proteins possess the same kind of functions in the immune system. Furthermore, the new study may also lead to the development of new methods for insect pest management, as well as the improvement of physiology, neurobiology and molecular biology research. Meanwhile, now that the genome of the tobacco hornworm is sequenced, Knost and his colleagues can use proteomics, the study of proteins, to identify proteins in the blood and tissues of the caterpillar. Scientists can use the sequenced genome to make insect proteins for biochemical studies. Studies.